In a world where bugs need to be fixed, in a time where features are born, one avatar shows you how to search the issue tracker. That's why I'm here. Torley Linden to demonstrate the power of search. And why you might want to search the issue tracker is to find issues of interest to you, to vote on them, comment, and add new information. Because that sort of community contribution is what helps keep us going. So first things first, I'm here in my web browser. <laughs> and you type in jira.secondlife.com. That's the address for our issue tracker. I'll go ahead and press enter. <laughs> and from here, right up here, you don't even have to be logged in. You can do a quick search. Now, there are a few things you have to be aware of. The word Boolean operator sounds complicated. Don't worry. For example, if I want to search for avatar teleport bugs, just searching for avatar and teleport is going to turn up results that have either one of these words. If you want both of them in a given result, then you must type AND between them. And make sure that's in all caps. It's sensitive. So afterwards, pressing ENTER and give it some moments to load. It can be kind of slow. But here we are. We are here and there's a lot of issues. And I understand if this might, this table, you can sort it by clicking these columns. But it might look complicated at first glance, which is why I'm going to show you other ways to search as well. And by the way, just to show you the difference, I'm just going to type avatar and teleport without the and. And you can see, after I press enter, that the results are going to be different. You see, there's a lot more of them because it could be either. Uh, so I use and a lot. That's my personal preference for how I look for things to be specific instead of wading through, holy moly, lots of pages. OK, so another way is to go through Google, the familiar Google. You can either use a Google search bar like this, or if you don't have one on your browser, type in google.com and enter. Of course, just about everyone knows Google, the search engine. And what we want to do now is drill down the search so it just searches the issue tracker site. So how do we do that? It's easy. Just type in site, colon, then jira.secondlife.com, tippity tap, tippity tap. And then we can type in what we're looking for, avatar teleport again. And in Google, you don't have to enter and in all caps, which is why it may be simpler and preferable for some. So let me go ahead and click search. And here we go. It's going to display a differently ranked list of results. So again, it's good to be specific, but you can see the issue key numbers and all that sort of stuff. And speaking of that, let me go back to the jira.secondlife.com site and show you that you can also search for an issue key. For example, right here, VWR4259. If you have the key, it helps you track it down. VWR4259 and enter. And shortly, it will bring up that issue's direct page. OK, right there. You see, it's the same bug. And there's yet another way. This method was created by Giggs Taggart, one of our open source contributors, a great resident who's been helping a lot of things on the issue tracker. SLJiraStats.com. This is his resident run site. It's not officially run by Linden Lab. Keep that in mind. It is a good resource. OK, let me just head here. You see all these stats. And you see right here, this is more oriented towards bugs than features. But nevertheless, you can go ahead. You can also scroll down and look at more stats should you want to. That's always very nice to peruse progress, see what's happening. Search for bugs, and then go ahead. And you can start adding things like keys. And you can go ahead and let's see, do a new search here. And whoop. Oh, there we go. Yes, there we have it. So this is another way to look through this. And of course, you can ask him and let him know if you have feedback. I'm sure he'd be glad to hear it. But here we are, three ways, basically, to search the issue tracker. I've covered just the tip of the iceberg, although it can be a very warm and fuzzy iceberg once you know how. So have fun searching the issue tracker. I'm Torley Linden, and have a marvelous day in Second Life.